And here's what I want you to know. Some of you, you feel pressed and you feel under pressure. Um, I want you to know that Jesus on this night, as soon as this meal is over, it says he goes to his favorite place as was his habit and it was the Garden of Gethsemane. Okay, you've all been to Israel with me. You've all been to the Garden of Gethsemane. Does everybody remember? And I didn't, I didn't warn them I was gonna ask this, so if they don't know, don't judge them. Does anybody remember what the word Gethsemane means in Hebrew? Not a clue. Is it on a hill or something? On a hill, no, that's close. So here's what it means. Gethsemane in Hebrew means olive press. Olive press. And here's the thing, typically, Olives are pressed three times. Now in America, because some of you are on a budget, it's pressed four and five times, but you don't want that olive oil from the very, very bottom. The best, the best olive oil comes from the first press. And so that's when you go to the store, it says extra virgin olive oil. What that means is that olive oil has come from the first press. And so it's interesting to me, on the night that Jesus was pressed, so difficult. I mean, he literally had the weight of the world pressing on him. He goes to an olive press where he just feels it and it says that he sweat drops his blood. That's, that's the pressure that's being placed on, upon him. And multiple times he asks for prayer because I think there were multiple pressings. Mm -hmm. So the first pressing is, okay, I gotta die for the sins of the world. Then he says, Father, if there's any other way, please don't make me do this. And then God says, no then there's a second pressing, an even more excruciating pressing. And so just think about that. And it was his favorite place to go. It was the place that he hung out. It was the place he went to get away from the busy city life of Jerusalem. So Jesus says, I've been eagerly awaiting. I've wanted to do this with you guys and I want you to be a part of this. And I think part of it, Ethan, that the reason he was so excited is because this meal used to represent for thousands of years the Passover. Mm -hmm. And it reminded the Jewish people of what God did. Here's why I think this meal was so special for Jesus. Because Jesus knew that this meal for Christians would now represent what he did. Mm -hmm. So the Jews were passed over by the wrath of God because they put the blood of a lamb on their doorpost and God's wrath passed over them. Now on Easter on Good Friday, the Lamb of God is going to die for the sins of the world and His blood is going to cause God's judgment to pass over us. Mm 